China is a country that, until recently, did not participate in the space competition. This was a grave error, and it is also quite unclear why NASA and SpaceX misjudged the strength of Chinese space capabilities. Travelers should keep in mind that China has equally potent rockets and even its own space station. Next, the Middle Kingdom will conquer the moon, and Michio Kaku warns that the U.S. must keep an eye on the ball if it wants to secure a piece of the moon. Michio Kaku, a well-known American space expert and explorer, recently revealed China's shocking discovery on the moon that will change everything. China's lunar base. Many people wonder why the Chinese have suddenly emerged. The government's ambitions go far beyond national prestige. It almost seems as if China has quietly and covertly moved to this location to now demonstrate to the entire world what the country is made of and, more importantly, what it plans to do with space. Chinese researchers are aware of the treasures the moon contains, and it nearly seems as though the nation's experts had the proper idea to place their whole trust in the moon rather than investing billions in Mars. Exploration Mikio Kaku just revealed the full scope of China's astounding lunar discoveries, which will alter the way you perceive space forever. China aims to create its first manned lunar outpost as early as 2028, putting it on the moon well ahead of NASA and SpaceX and giving it the opportunity to fully develop the moon. The most recent findings are just the beginning. Chinese scientists and engineers are working to improve nuclear energy for dependable use. Developing propulsion systems for future spacecraft, vehicles, and robots is a crucial aspect of space exploration, especially considering the ambitious missions planned by China, such as Chang'e 6, 7, and 8, and the establishment of a lunar base. The Chang'e 6, 7, and 8 missions are anticipated to launch in the upcoming years with a range of objectives. Chang'e 6, equipped with landers, orbiters, rovers, and the first 3D printer, aims to return up to 2 kilograms of lunar material and address the issue of resource utilization on the moon. Chinese astronauts are expected to establish a lunar base, marking a historic achievement. Chang'e 7, following Chang'e 6, will feature an orbiter, lander, rover, and a mini-flight detector. Its objectives align with Chang'e 6, focusing on lunar topography exploration, collecting rock samples, and studying the lunar environment. Chang'e 8, scheduled for 2028, will introduce resource utilization technology and produce the first 3D printed components for the future lunar base. These missions will pave the way for Chang'e 9, set to commence in 2030. China's significant investment in space exploration is expected to yield substantial returns. Surprising discoveries have already been made on the moon, challenging previous perceptions. For instance, there is an abundance of water on the moon, which was initially not apparent. Chang 5 collected lunar samples from the Oceanus Procellarum, revealing tiny glass beads containing traces of water. These glass beads likely formed during large impact events, similar to those caused by comets, asteroids, and meteorites. Due to numerous collisions on the Moon, lunar dust transformed into glass throughout the lunar surface. Experts believe these glass pearls are widespread, from the equator to the poles. The water within the glass is likely a result of solar radiation. When the sun heats the glass beads, positively charged hydrogen atoms from solar winds combine with oxygen to form water. These discoveries are reshaping our understanding of the moon's composition and potential for future resource utilization. Even more amazing is that this water can be extracted from the glass beads by simply heating them. In total, the glass beads are said to hold a water reservoir totaling 270 billion tons, in 2010, NASA estimated that the craters at the Moon's North Pole contain about 600 million tons of ice. As a result, the water resources on the Moon are enormous, though they can be difficult to access. Strictly speaking, there could be about 2,000 kilograms of water in each ton of lunar dust. Artificial lunar lakes and rivers are unthinkable on Earth due to the temperatures and absence of an atmosphere. But the large water reserve might be a source of life for astronauts and future lunar residents. Water is used by astronauts for more than just drinking and irrigating lunar greenhouses. The lunar samples returned from Chang'e 5 have disclosed another secret with helium-3 into the new energy age, in addition to the utilization of water for fuel production. Additionally, Chang'e 5 has a brand new mineral that, to date, the crystal, which was generated some 1.2 billion years ago during a period of volcanic activity on the Moon, 
has only been discovered there, and it contains an exceptional component called helium-3. Helium-3 is a chemical that has the potential to rapidly solve our energy crisis and even avert global warming. The isotope is very fusion-friendly and may give humanity the ability to produce energy from atomic fusion for the first time. Fusion reactors would be significantly more efficient since atomic fusion produces much more energy than atom splitting and emits no radiation waste. Helium-3 is so rare on Earth that it would not be worthwhile to start up a fusion reactor just to consume this tiny deposit. However, with the likely enormous deposit of Helium-3 on the Moon, that situation may change in the near future. For now, however, there is still a significant challenge in harnessing these resources. Cost estimates for bringing the rock from the Moon to Earth are currently difficult to determine. We need to develop the Moon now if we don't want to lose this transition to a clean energy age. The possibility of mining helium-3 on the moon continues to drive NASA and Chinese space efforts in a positive sense. However, it is already certain that the loading capacity of a space shuttle alone could supply the U.S. with energy for a year. However, no man has been on the moon for almost 50 years, and even the Apollo astronauts only spent a few hours there. The moon was first scanned and measured by spacecraft 64 billion years ago. Thanks to modern technology, we can now zoom in on practically every corner of the moon, but the surface may still contain surprises that no one now anticipates. What do you believe about the moon being a safe celestial body or what unpleasant surprises might be lurking there for future space travelers if humans start to dig through the moon's surface, as would be the case with professional mining on the moon, for example? Lunar settlers and travelers, subscribe to The Space Venture for more content like this.